Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is a physics honors video on thin lens refraction. This is uh, kind of on the tail end of our Snell's law and what's happening with light. How is it refracting? How is it bending as it's going through a thin lens? We're going to be doing later on, we're going to be taking a look at mirrors. So if you've ever wondered uh, why when you take a look at a magnifying glass and you hold it away from you, everything is upside down in that magnifying glass. But when you hold it very close to your eyes, the image gets very, very magnified. And, and and what about glasses? And what about your eyes? And what about all these different things? Maybe you've you've seen things like this in space where you have um, have them doing a bubble. Okay, and so as as you see this bubble progress, you can see as the camera is looking from further away, you can see things are upside down, upside down in that, and as you get closer to that bubble, things become more and more and more magnified. And so you can see they can even put a camera inside that bubble because of the hydrogen bond and attractions of the water. But I want you to see the optics of this. The optics, the how the light is is interfering with different things. So when you're inside, you can see this image right now is being magnified. And so th things happen in space, you can see uh, from far away, things are going to be upside down, upside down as we take a look inside of those. And so we're going to be taking a look in our physics of why that happens. And the there's two main types of lenses. There's a convex lens, which kind of looks like it's it's uh, it's bubbling out, and a concave, which is caving in. You can see the convex lens, the light rays are converging. Sometimes we call this a converging lens. And you can see in the concave lens, the light rays are diverging. They're, they're, in, they're going away from something. And so sometimes we call that a diverging lens. And so we're going to be drawing what's called ray diagrams, ray diagrams. And you can take a look on mysterydon.com on, on Thursday. There's lens and mirror diagrams, a blank copy. And you might want to have a blank copy to practice these along with yourself. And we have two different rules. I like to make things really easy. You will only have to draw two different lines, two different rays. And here are our easy, hard and fast rules. Number one, we're always going to draw a parallel line and then uh, to the lens, and then through or from the focal point. That's rule number one. And rule number two, because it's a thin lens, it's going to go straight through the center. You can see this light ray in the middle is going straight through. This light ray in the middle is going straight through. The other right lays on the, light rays on the top and bottom are doing different things. So let's get to our ray diagrams. This is what you want to practice. You want to go to your lens diagrams, a blank copy, and you want to try to practice what's happening. So here I have, here I have my object, okay? And I'm going to label that object, object O. You can see that object O has a height. You can see this is the height of that object O. You can see it's maybe something like uh, five centimeters tall, okay? You can see right here I have a focal point. I'm going to call that F A, focal point of this lens at negative 10 centimeters, focal point at positive 10 centimeters. And why is it on either side? Because we can see through this lens. So my focal point, my focal point, um, and my symbol for focal point is going to be an F, and that is going to be at 10 centimeters. My object, my object is exactly 20 centimeters away from this lens right here. So let's draw our ray diagrams. My first ray diagram is going to come from the object. It's going to come uh, parallel. Okay, and I'm going to make that as good as I can do. And so it's going to run parallel there. And remember, then our first rule says that it's going to go straight through the focal point, straight through the focal point. And so you can see how the ray went uh, parallel, hit the lens, and then it converged into the local point, uh, the focal point. Now the second rule says we're going to come from the object and we're going to go straight through the center, straight through the center. I don't need you Marion County Animal Hospital. I don't need you Angie's List. There you go. Straight through the center. And so you can see how where do I have my image? My light, my light rays crossed each other right here. 
which means this is what we call my image. And you can see there's there's some things that I know about my image. My image here is upside down or what we call inverted. Our image our image is going to be inverted, okay? It's upside down. And so when you're behind the focal point, you're going to see an upside down image. Why? Because this is what happens to the light rays, okay? Um, what do I know? The light rays crossed each other, so that's what we call a real image, a real image. A real image is when the light rays uh, cross each other. And you can see this object, this object is about the same height. It might be a little bit smaller just because I kind of am not exact on my, my, um, my, light, my light rays and, uh, and my ray diagram. And so we can see that happening uh, there. If we take a look at something like this, let me come here. You can see this object as this object is further away from the focal point here. Uh, you can see this focal point is this first point right here. You can see the object is smaller but inverted. And you can see as I get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, when I'm exactly double the focal point, you can see the object is exactly the same size. It's inverted. It's at the same place on the other side. And as I get closer and closer and closer and closer to my focal point, you can see my object is getting larger and larger and larger, but it's still upside down. It's still inverted. Okay, so that's the first lens we need to know how to draw. The second lens is a convex lens, but you are sitting at the focal point. You are at the focal point. And so let's take a look at my my rays, what's happening. So first ray, what, where do I always go? I go straight to the, the lens. Okay, then it's going to converge, because it's a converging lens, in at the focal point right there. The next rule is straight through the focal point. Now take a look at these two lines. Take a look at these two lines. These two lines are exactly parallel with each other, which means they're never going to come together. They're never going to to cross each other. So I have no image. I have no image. If you were exactly at the focal point and looking at a, a lens, if you, if you have a magnifying glass around, try it. You will see when you're at the focal point, you will not see an image. There will never be an image formed on this side. There will never be an image formed, and I'm going to do dotted lines for the other side. You can see how dotted lines, we have uh, no image ever being formed on either side. And so it will be exactly blurry, exactly blurry. And you can see if I move this guy, exactly right at the focal point there is going to be I'm trying to get it exactly exactly there's going to be no image why is there no image because all the light rays are running infinitely they're running parallel with each other so that is my converging lens but I still have one more ray diagram with my converging lens and that is when I'm in front of the focal point, in front of the focal point. So let's take a look at what happens in front of the focal point. What's my first rule? I always draw a line going to the lens, okay? Then it's going to converge in at the focal point. That's rule number one. Rule number two is from the object straight through the center. Now I hope you can see the light rays will never come together on this side of the lens. It's going to actually come together on the negative side of the lens. I know that's weird to think about, but if we have this, I'm going to draw dotted lines, dotted lines, and you can see dotted lines exactly running with this, the ray diagram that I have. You can see these dotted lines, they end up coming together right here right here and so you can see that is my image that's my image and what do I know about my image my image is 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 upright it is not upside down it's not inverted it's upright it's right side up always gonna be right side up it is not real because the light rays are not coming together so we call that a virtual image a virtual image because the light rays did not 
cross each other. So it's a virtual image and it is much, much, much larger, isn't it? It's much larger. And so if you can see at this uh, value here, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to go in front of the focal point and you can see my image is going to be magnified and that's what we use a magnifying glass for. We are usually, our eyes are way in front of the focal point and so it magnifies. Who cares if it's a virtual image? I'm just trying to get a magnification. Uh, my reading glasses do the same thing. My reading glasses, my eyes are very, very close to it. It magnifies the image and I can have that. So if I'm behind the focal point, it's always going to be inverted and a real image. At the focal point, there's no image. And in front of the focal point, it's virtual and always larger. We have one last lens and that, of course, is a diverging lens, a diverging lens. And so let's take a look at what happens with a diverging lens. Well, what's my rules? My rules are I'm going to go right here at a uh, parallel, okay? And then my light is not going to converge into the focal point. It's going to diverge. It's going to go away at the same angle as the focal point. So watch how I draw this. I'm going to draw this at the same angle, and I'm going to move this here like that. So you can see it diverged at the same angle as the focal point right there. So that is rule number one. Rule number two, it goes straight through the what? Through the center. Now let me ask you guys, are these two light rays ever going to come together and cross? No, which means I don't have a real image. I have a virtual image, which means what do I need to draw? I need to draw dotted lines. Okay, so let's take a look at my dotted lines. My dotted lines are going to run backwards this way, straight through the focal point. Can you see where it crosses? It crosses right here. Not the real lines, but the, um, but the virtual lines. And so what do I know about my image? I'm going to label my image I. My image is going to be upright. It's not upside down. It's upright. It's right side up. It is virtual, of course, and it is much, much, much smaller. It's much smaller. And so if you take a look at, uh, let's change this to a diverging lens. You can see at a diverging lens, it doesn't matter where my, ob my object is. My image is always going to be smaller. It's always going to stay upright. And so you can see this right here. It's always going to be upright and smaller. So those were our ray diagrams for thin lens refraction. Make sure you practice these ray diagrams. Make sure you do your self-assessment and uh, we're going to have some questions tomorrow on thin lens refraction. Have a great day physics. I'll catch you on the catch ya. Bye bye.